these are some creations that you can participate in during the spring equinox that'll bring happiness and a fresh start to your home and your life and your intentions. Today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite things to talk about, the spring equinox. It's also known as the vernal equinox. It marks a time where day and night are equal. So many creations and crafts that you can participate in during the spring equinox are some of my favorites and I hope you love them just as much as I do. Feel free to switch things up according to what you love. One of my favorite activities to do during the spring is make flower crowns. Tables and centerpieces. Sun catchers, which I cannot wait to share with you all of the things I've been making and crafting over the winter in order to celebrate spring. You can make crystal grids, crystals that are associated with the springtime. Could be time to take all of those flowers that you pressed over the winter and frame them and enjoy them. Big spring activity for me is definitely transplanting all of my propagated plants that have been growing and kind of hibernating during the winter months. Transplanting your house plants and giving them more room to breathe because it's time to grow and it's time for fresh starts. I like to deep clean my house at least once a week and then clean and tidy up during the off days to keep everything up to par in my home and all the energy is very high. In the spring equinox, it's very important to try your best to downsize a little bit. A big one obviously is spring cleaning and reorganize what you have and simplify. It doesn't mean get rid of all of your things. It doesn't mean that you have to clean until your hands are dry and raw. It doesn't mean go overboard. During spring cleaning, this is a great time to set energy. So you definitely wanna have a good attitude while cleaning and wait for a time where you're like, your body and your essence is like, I want to get up and I want to do some cleaning, some organizing. Wait until you feel like it's time to do those chores. That way, while you're cleaning and organizing your things, your space, your home, you're also resetting the energy to where it's fresh, beautiful happiness, not, oh gosh, I have to clean again, you know. It's also important to me personally to do a nice smoke cleanse around my home because smoke cleansing is so important when it comes to resetting your energy and starting fresh. With Palo Santos, that is one of my favorite smoke cleanses to use around my house and I highly, highly suggest it because it kind of resets everything. Another great idea to kind of welcome the spring equinox in is by cleaning thoroughly all of your windows because the windows are really the eyes of the home. So if you're needing clarity or you're just needing fresh insight on your life during the time of the spring equinox, it's a great idea to go around, clean your windows. And as an extra boost, I love to decorate my windows to welcome in all of that beautiful energy and almost as a sign to other people coming into your home, it's almost like you're welcoming in a new fresh start and just beautiful, wonderful energy. Journaling is a wonderful way to really create fertile affirmations, ones that you want to bring 
to life. I keep saying that because it's so true during this time. Everything is in a rebirth mode. So if you're wanting to set new intentions, write them down, journal them, take your time with this process because over the next three to six months is when we're going to want those intentions and those affirmations to be born and rebirthed and to come to life. So we really want to nurture these intentions and affirmations in which we're writing down and journaling. Connect with the fertile soils outside. So just going and sitting outside, connecting with the grass, the earth, the dirt, the mud, the water, the beautiful, beautiful trees and elements that are outside, being alive again. Emulate that energy during the spring equinox. That's the theme of life right now. So to connect with that is so important. It is a very fertile time. So a lot of people People get pregnant during the spring because it is when you're twitter pated and when things are becoming more warm and you're feeling more confident, you're eating better, you're feeling better, you're getting more sun. So if you're not trying to get pregnant and you're not interested in the fertility aspect of the spring equinox, it's okay. Just connect to your womb, connect to your womanhood, your motherhood. Another one of my favorite spring activities is taking all of those beautiful flowers and elements and dressing your candles for your spell work with those elements to heighten the energy and heighten the intentions and manifestations. All of those things that you went out and you saw and you put into your hands and you placed your energy within and you thanked the mother earth for use those to dress your candle another beautiful practice is really celebrating spring foods create a ritual for yourself for a tradition during springtime even if you're just setting your table for yourself with some flowers and some fresh fruits and maybe switching to tea for a little bit instead of coffee turd alkaline water fresh fruit in it Sometimes we think these are little things, but once we do these practices and rituals and traditions, after we're done, we feel so fulfilled and so much better and connected to who we are. Even if you're setting a table or a space just for yourself, it's so special and significant. We're coming out of a time of darkness and retreat and hibernation. Things that add on weight to make us warmer and safer and human, right? Well, during the spring, this is a time that we kind of shed all of that and start with more healthy, lighter meals and foods. So I definitely suggest that. You can still have bread. Just have a little piece of bread with more fruits and vegetables and things that make you feel lighter and help you move around outside more because we're gonna be outside soon and spending all of our time in nature. Do you want to add in? It's important to just follow your own rituals and your instincts. I'm just here to help with little tips and tricks. Follow your heart and your instincts when it comes to the spring equinox, doing magic, doing practices, all of that stuff.
ways that you can connect to the moon cycle of the worm moon for spring. Whenever there's a full moon during the spring equinox, it's a great time to put out water in beautiful bottles or glasses. You really don't need anything fancy as long as you put out your moon water in a container and I usually use some kind of purified water that way I can use it to drink. Also use it for moon baths. Prepare that moon water to add into your moon baths along with your intentions and spring items, harvested flowers and fruits. Uh, I'm always synced with the moon cycles and I also don't dread my period anymore, ever. I love my period. When I see it, I am like, oh, she's here for the month, here she is, and I celebrate it and it's wonderful and I suggest everybody do the same. To be going over some beautiful details about the spring equinox. The spring equinox, also known as the vernal equinox, occurs around March 20th or 21st in the northern hemisphere. It marks the time when day and night are approximately equal in length. The spring equinox has been celebrated by various cultures around the world as a time of renewal, rebirth, and balance. In many spiritual and religious traditions, this time of fertility and new beginnings, symbolizing the awakening of the earth after the winter months. Modern pagan and Wiccan traditions, the spring equinox is known as Ostara, after the goddess of spring and fertility. It is a time to celebrate the balance of light and dark. Welcome the increasing light as the days grow longer. It is also time to plant seeds, both literally and metaphorically, representing the growth and new opportunities of the coming year. Many modern witches and spiritual practitioners use the spring equinox as a time for rituals spells and ceremonies focused on renewal, growth, and setting intentions for your future. These practices often involve honoring the earth, working with plants and flowers, and connecting with the energy of the season to bring about positive change and transformation in their lives. Overall, the spring equinox is a time of great significance in many spiritual traditions, symbolizing the cyclic nature of life, death and rebirth, and the eternal renewal of the earth and all living things. Let's talk about the full moons happening during the spring equinox. On March 24th, 25th, and 26th, full moon known as the warm moon is named after the earthworms that emerge from the thawing ground as winter transitions to spring. This full moon is also known as the sap moon because it marks the time when sap begins to flow in maple trees, showing the start of the sugaring season. In various spiritual and cultural traditions, the warm moon is considered a powerful time for ritual reflection and spiritual practices. To amplify energy and intentions, making it time for setting goals, releasing negativity, and manifesting all of your desires. The full moon has long been celebrated in many cultures as a symbol of fertility, abundance, and illumination. Its cyclic nature mirrors the rhythms of life, death, and rebirth, making it a potent symbol of transformation and renewal. This is especially potent during the spring equinox as it 
symbolizes rebirth and renewal in its own. In modern witchcraft and pagan traditions, the full moon is often celebrated with rituals and ceremony that harness its energy for healing, manifesting, and growth overall. Practices may include moon gazing, meditation, crystal work, and casting spells, all aimed at aligning with the moon's cycles and tapping into its mystical energies, nature, overall. In its entirety, the warm moon, a sacred time for connecting with natural world, honoring the cycles of life and tapping into the deep well of wisdom that the moon is believed to hold. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by.